guys, we've got a chef here up at Lake Kitaroo. We're staying at Downfall Creek and just have a good look behind us here. Everyone's out and about having fun with the power boats and the jet skis all day. It's, we're so lucky up here, you know, with COVID-19 going on. So um, I'm enjoying myself. I'm very relaxed. I'm feeling a little bit under the weather after last night's seasoning, um, but that's all self-inflicted. Today I thought I'll do a leg of lamb and we're just going to keep it real simple and easy so we can continue seasoning ourselves because we're suckers for punishment. So all we're going to do is stub this lamb with a bit of garlic and then we're going to oil it and put some rosemary on it and I'm going to whack it on the Oz spit. Um, so I've already got some garlic pre-peeled here just to save some time and all I'm going to do is just slice up some little slivers so I can stick into the little lamb. Um, and then I'm just going to use my paring knife and just tap a little hole in there and just jam the garlic in and I'm going to just go across the lamb and, and do that Alrighty guys, so I've got the spit to the Oz spit um, and I've already pre-measured uh, the first prong and where I need to sit it so I can go over the fire. Um, basically what we want to do is make sure there's an even coat of coals underneath whatever we're cooking so that it obviously cooks evenly. Um, so yeah, we're just going to spit this up and yeah, as simple as making sure that you try and get it in the middle of the meat as possible so it spins around evenly and doesn't put any excess pressure on the motors, uh, the gears and the motor. So yeah, just in it goes. There we go. And then, so some cuts of meat are smaller and the prongs won't fit, but you can always bend them down so they can pierce in. And I'm actually you might go in from here. Now that we've got that spitted up, we're going to get it onto the old spit. So I'm going to get make sure that the fire is ready, and we'll get it on. Alrighty, guys. So you can see that I've got the old spit all spitted up, ready to rock and roll. Now, there's one thing that I've been loving at the moment, and it's these new wireless probe thermometers from EC Therm. They're uh, very small, very durable. Uh, you know, my nickname for most things is Wreck-It Ryan and I've been doing my absolute best to wreck this and I seriously can't. Um, the app is so simple and easy to use and it just gives that precision cooking every time. And it's just literally a matter of inserting the probe all the way up to where you can see that it turns black and then, and then this little flux capacitor inside here does magical little things and tells your phone what's going on inside the meat so you know that you've got perfection every time you cook. So I'm just literally going to stab it in the thickest part of the meat and then so that's in. I'll turn the motor on so yeah you can see that that's in and so now it's just a matter of moving the Ozbit over the fire, turning the motor on, hopefully that'll stay there. We are on a bit of a hill, there we go. And so we'll let this cook for a couple of hours and then we'll be getting into it. Hey guys, so it's been an hour and a half and the leg of lamb is finally finished. Um, as I was cooking it, I did give it a few hits of salt because lamb really, really loves salt. Um, and if you don't salt your lamb, you really should. It just brings out the flavours and it's just absolutely beautiful. So now that it's all done and it's off the spit, we're going to cut this up and we're literally pretty much going to devour it because it smells so good and a little sneaky taste that we have. Oh, yeah, I can't wait to get into this. So I'm just going to cut it straight down the guts for now. So come in closer and have a look at this. Alright, so an hour and a half. Give it a nice medium. That's going to be beautiful to eat. 
Absolutely wonderful. All right, come up. I don't want you looking at it too much because I want to eat it. So if you haven't already, please like and subscribe this uh, to my channel. It would be really, really amazing. Absolutely helps me out a lot, and I would really, really appreciate your support. And for everyone that's already following me, thank you so much. I really do appreciate all your support. And drop me a comment. I love talking to you guys. So, yeah, definitely drop me a comment. Have a chat with me. We can talk food. We can talk whatever. I love meeting new people. So I'm going to leave you guys to it because I really need to get into this. And also need to enjoy the sunset and in this beautiful, beautiful location up at Lake Teneroo. So thank you for watching the end of this video. And I'll see you guys soon.